presidency and the NGC face off over the judges that were arrested. The official of the NGC to still keep them on the bench, you know, is rough of me, you know, despite the alleged allegations. So I expected them to be placed on, or placed on suspension while the investigation goes on. Tomorrow I would like to be to know what decision of the ethics committee formed by this NGC. I want to see what they will come up to, whether they will reverse you know, the being placing these uh, judges on bench or maybe they will actually suspend them. What's my opinion that about that is just a, I will, on my own opinion about that is just a political game. It's just a political game. That is what they are playing. They are only dead civil laws. In the news tomorrow, I want, the only thing I'm expecting that the, the, the promise that the APC promised us they will come into it. But me, I know that the beginning of the change is by fair and fair election. If we want this new president, they are not doing anything like fair and fair election. Right now. Judges to declare asset before and after judgment. It appeals to me because uh, it's my delight to see a very um, uh, uh, transparent and honest judiciary. Because it is often said that judiciary is the um, last hope of the common man. So if the judiciary is not transparent, then to whom will the poor resort? I would like to read about issues, about more transparency in the system and time. Let the issue of corruption be dealt with decisively in this country. The arrest of Bala uh, Muhammad and uh, Ruben Abadi. Corruption was the highest. The, the seriousness about it is what is very important for me. If for me, I don't really look at whether at the end of the day they were finding guilty or not. But what is important for me is that fear in the land. So anybody now cannot be careful before you collect a bribe or before you partake in anything that you know that is not clean. So because for that, that your name appears on the news line, and you know, the public become aware of it. So you become very, as anybody to be, be careful before they take any decision whether to collect a bribe or not. Yes, what I want to read most of that maybe the economy will become better and then uh, as citizens we can now live well and then our life will be better. Blueprints. And here is the details of Allah Mohammed and this uh, Ruben Abbas. I was so surprised when I heard about uh, the land swap. Okay, well, we are waiting to see the end of it. I want to see what will be the outcome of this.